Hello and welcome back to my Myrtle Beach real estate video blog where I'm bringing you relevant topics about our local real estate market here on the Grand Strand. Thanks for joining me. And today I want to talk about the importance of getting pre-approved for a mortgage if you're a buyer in our market. Now, also, I'm going to mention three reasons why it's important to be pre-approved and then hopefully um, explain the difference between a pre-approval and a pre-qualification because there is a distinction there. So three reasons why you should be pre-approved if you're a buyer. Number one, so you know exactly what you can afford and, and not be disappointed if you, you can't bite off as much as you think. So you want to know going in exactly how much you are qualified to buy. That's very important important. Number two would be it gives you leverage when you're presenting an offer to a seller. You know, most top agents that I network with, and me included, we don't even uh, won't allow our seller to sign a contract uh, without a pre-approval letter from a bank or a mortgage company. Now, I may help my seller negotiate uh, a contract if we know the pre-approval's coming or they've, they've called the lender and everything looks good. But in terms of tying up a property and taking it off the market without a pre-approval letter from the buyer, that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And it will give you more leverage when you make an offer if you accompany that offer with a pre-approval letter. And then thirdly, you know, it's so competitive right now. Yes, there's a lot of listings in our market today. So there is a lot of properties for sale. However, my belief is that 80% that of the buyers are competing for 20% of the properties because out of all the inventory, 20% or so have the best price, have the best condition, have the best location, best terms, et cetera. So it is still always competitive and therefore you want to have the best chance of getting that property winning when you make an offer and you want to write that offer with the best terms but also accompany that offer with the pre-approval letter. Now, what's the difference between pre-approved and pre-qualified? Now, if you're a seller, you might want to pay attention because when you get when you get a pre-qualification letter or a pre-approval letter, there's a difference. I talked to one of my preferred lenders and she explained that a pre-approval letter is when she actually pulls the credit of the borrower gets the social security number. It's a little more intense of um, a process versus pre-qualifying someone. They just really take their word for it over the phone to get a pre-qualification letter. So you want a pre-approval letter. So I hope this helps you. If you'd like uh, me to answer any questions specific to uh, a different topic or your property, if you're looking to sell, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye-bye.